welcome back to my channel. do this look right here it is a look inspired by the movie it of course I did like kind of a half face um, when I try to look this look up online it didn't really show anything people were just doing the full face so I kind of want to recreate like a little more wearable look I guess if you still want to be kind of cute for Halloween of course I added like the whole bloody gory stuff but you don't have to do that if you don't want to if you're interested in seeing how I created this look then keep on watching Alright, first off I'm going to start by using the Anastasia Dip Brow. This is in the color Ebony and I'm going to go ahead and use that with the double ended flat brush. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows with that. Next I'm going to go ahead and take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm just taking that and using the flat concealer brush like this. I'm going to go ahead and clean up around my eyebrows. I'm going to go ahead and take that concealer and just put it on my eyes to go ahead and prime that and then buff that in with a beauty sponge. of course set that with some translucent powder. Today I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this shade right here. It is called Pooter. I'm taking that on my fluffy brush and go ahead and blend that into the crease and the outer edges. The next color I'm gonna pick up, it's called Roxanne. And go ahead and just put that over top of that. Next, I'm going to pick up the color right next to it. It's called Jax. And then go ahead and repeat the same step. and actually use my Modern Renaissance palette because I want this look to be really red I'm going to go ahead and pick up the color Red Ochre and then go ahead and blend that over top on top of that I'm going to go ahead and pick up the color it's called Hillster and then I'm also picking up the shade over here it's called Cranapple and then go ahead and spritz my brush and then I'm going to use both of the colors and kind of do half a cut crease. I'm going to go ahead and use a fluffy brush just to blend everything out. I'm just going to put um, some lashes on. You can use whatever lashes you want. Moving on to the face, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation and I'm just going to go use a beauty sponge this by Morphe and then just blend it on half of my face, of course, because I'm not doing the other half with this. And put some concealer. And then go ahead and highlight underneath my eyes as well. Bake if you want to or just go ahead and just make sure you set that. And I'm setting the rest of my face as well. Go ahead and bronze up the cheeks. Pretty much do your regular routine on this side. Blush, and then underneath the eyes, I'm just gonna take the same colors and put it under, and then just put some mascara. All right, I'm gonna take this first shade right here. It's called and light, and then just highlight the brow bone. For highlighter, I'm using this ColourPop one. I'm just going to take that with my fingers and then go ahead and dab that on the cheekbones. And then on top of that, I'm just taking some of my Becca highlighter and just making that really glow. Alright, so for the other side of the face, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Coverage and this is in the shade White. And I'm just going to take my beauty sponge and just blend that into the face as well.
you can go ahead and cover like your eyebrows, lips, whatever you want, because of course this side is going to be the creepier side. And go ahead and take my e.l.f. high definition powder on a fluffy brush and just set that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and draw in the other side of the eyebrows. Um, the it clown kind of has this little weird arch thing in front of his eyebrow, so I'm kind of doing that, but also using my regular shape as well. I'm using some of the white foundation to just kind of clean it up, just to make sure the shape is how I want it to be. There you go. All right, so for this eye, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing as the other eye. So just repeat that. I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics in the color Mary Jo K. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw on the nose and the lips with this. And use this flat brush and then I'm picking up some of this lipstick and go ahead and draw his smile line and it kind of goes up throughout the eye so just kind of curve it here and bring it up to below the eye and then on top of your eyelid and then straight through the eyebrow as well. I'm gonna go ahead and just take some eyeliner. Um, I did notice that he had like really dark eyes, so I went ahead and added this. And then as well as on the other side. I'm using this FX transfer, I got this from Party City. It's like a scar tissue thing with stitches. And I cut out the shape. I went ahead and peeled the plastic off and then applied that onto my forehead. I'm actually using a sponge that's wet just to um, make sure that it transfers onto my skin. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and peel that off. I'm just dabbing it, just make sure it's on there. Same thing with the bottom. So for the scar in the middle, I have an example here I did on my arm. I'm using liquid latex for this. You can get this at any party store or like Halloween store. I'm taking that on a disposable sponge and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my face just to connect the top scar with the bottom scar. And I actually did three layers of this. You have to make sure it dries in between though. I'm gonna take, go ahead and take some scissors or you can take some tweezers, just be really, really careful. Um, just to kind of cut the liquid latex apart so it forms like a scar. I know this looks freaky, but I'm like nowhere near cutting my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and take the tweezer and just kind of open up the scar. I'm gonna actually go ahead and take this Kylie lipstick, it's in the color Leo. Just on a little brush and color in the inside of the scar just to make it look kind of like blood. And then I actually got this FX blood from the Halloween store as well. Gonna go ahead and take that and then put it inside of the scar and kind of just you kind of have to play around with the blood just to make sure it looks good i'm also adding the blood to like the other scars that i already had as well all right so you kind of got a little bit messy but i took some napkin just to dab around it just to make sure it looks like realistic Here's the finished look. Of course, I added the whole neck thing. I also added a contact just on this side of the face and I added the pigtails as well. Of course, you can wear it up however you want to. If you end up recreating this look, make sure to tag me in one of my social medias. I'll leave it right here. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, just leave it down in the comment section below. And always make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure to also share this video and I'll see you on the next one.